Hello, I'm Councillor Nicola Day, Deputy Leader of the Green Group on Peterborough City Council. It was hugely disappointing that free school meals didn't get voted through. As a teacher and as a parent, I know that it is vital for children to access healthy, nutritional meals. Without adequate sustenance and a nutritional diet, children find it hard to learn and to engage. We should not be taking access to food provision away from children during this pandemic. As a parent, I understand from personal experience the struggle and difficulties living on benefits and a low income brings. They often don't stretch far enough. It was such a relief for me as a single parent to know that my son was getting a nutritious school meal every day and I would have struggled without such support. A recent report found that 40% of children in Peterborough are living below the poverty line. That's 11,200 children living in poverty in this city. The Greens decided to reach out to opposition parties and we worked together with the Lib Dem and Labour groups on Peterborough City Council to produce a united response. We wrote joint letters to the City Council asking them to extend the free school meal service and we called on MPs to reconsider their stance should a further opportunity on the vote arise. Our council has responded by saying that there is a community hub which can help with food poverty issues. However, some vulnerable families do not know about this hub or how to access it. They may also feel humiliation in having to ask for help. Food vouchers that are automatically provided for will ensure that all vulnerable families are catered for during this pandemic. The Green Party have been calling for a non-means tested universal basic income. This would see poverty virtually eliminated and ensure people can afford to meet their basic needs and are able to afford housing, heating and food. We also call for children living below the poverty line to be supported, not just the very poorest. We must remember these are not normal circumstances. We are living in the second wave of a pandemic. People are struggling. For those who have lost jobs and incomes, they need to be able to ensure their children are fed and that their families are supported. Thank you.